Blossom, proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shumville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. But do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do. This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, your toad's gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me. Quit doing that. Kooky, you're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, no, nobody else, nobody else will end up out So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, um, gee, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine, I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Slippy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag It's Bo, hashtag Shopkin Spell. You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag interrupted, hashtag back to hashtagging, hashtag hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Oh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looked around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vault. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. The Great Shopville Today, live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much! 
You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins. Without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopkins. Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Am I hurting you? <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins, unlike Apple Blossom. That's right, Apple refuses to share her toy. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulls, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two candidates for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win. And when I'm a mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are. A shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> to be a yo-yo? I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. <laughs> Too bad that wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Who oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! Oh my, fixing your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it. Apple, what year was the small market? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small market? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do Trick question, there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah. This is, like, super suspenseful. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? 
In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? Wait! This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves while Kooky has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kooky! Well, you heard her, Shop Games. The first ever meal of Shop Bill is Kooky Kooky! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shopkin is different. But that's what makes us so special. Huh, I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. Oh, I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. Dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky? No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast. Filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Sarah till it thickens. Well, we help you hang the ribbon. Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stockings. Just be careful in the kitchen, cause the sink is not of clogging. Once we finish baking. We'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix and prancer. Uh, who like ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> Nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking! From the stuffing to the pudding. Now it's time to hang the star. Just, Just be careful, careful of your, your footing. footing. We've done our shopping spree. Wrap the gifts under the tree. Now we can finally relax. <laughs> but you forgot about me. Stay awake for the first time until midnight. Midnight? 
Oh, that means I'll only get 14 hours of beauty sleep. I'll start to look like all of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Eight hours. <sighs> I'm like already kind of tired just thinking about that. Don't yawn, because if you yawn, I'll yawn. Uh, uh oh. Stay strong, Cheeky. You're about to set off a chain reaction of yawning. The fate of this evening lies in your mouth. It's only 3 p.m. Plus, there's still a few things we need to do before the party tonight. I've written up a list of tasks for everyone to complete. What are you organizing, Apple? That! Now we can have a big New Year's Eve countdown. Who wants to see a 30-foot minute hand? Oh, yes, that's awesome. Oh, that is absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That'd be so cool. So, like, does time go slower because the clock is so bad? Still the same speed, Susie. Since you ruined Christmas for me, I'm gonna ruin New Year's for you. <laughs> Great <sighs> party, Apple. Hang in there, Susie. Not too long to go now. Ah! Happy New Happy Year! Year. Ah! Why are you all screaming? That's what you asked for, silly. I have to say, Apple, I'm not a fan of all this screaming. Makes me feel like a common garden weed. Spaghetti in the hole! Lippy with Lippy. Do you know how hard it was to find a spaghetti cannon? It's not exactly a household item, Apple. What are you all looking at? <laughs> why, why, why would you do this? That's what you asked for. Earthworks. Fireworks. I asked for streamers, a confetti cannon, and fireworks. Let me see that list. Hey, somebody changed this! We're sorry, Apple. At least we still have the countdown clock. Hey guys, it's nearly time. 10, 9, 8, 7! Seven. Seven. What's that noise? I knew we shouldn't have stayed up this late. Where did the clock go? Uh, I don't know. Hey! You think it's been longer than 10 seconds? Probably. Well, Happy New Year, I guess. about your clock. I didn't even realize what was happening. I should be more attentive. You know what? That'll be my New Year's resolution. That and reading an entire book. I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm gonna get fit. I might take a nap and figure my resolution out later. Oh, wait. I'm, like, totally gonna stop napping. Uh, I feel like I've heard all of this already. Okay, time to clean out my closet. Although I am hungry. Yeah, I could go with sandwich. After lunch, I might go shopping. We've never finished any of our resolutions. You know, we didn't technically see the clock strike 12, so it's not the new year yet. I say we make a pact to finish our resolutions before the clock is found. That may not take long, Cheeky. Mayor Cookie has the best Shopkins on the job. Chicken chip reporting for, for duty. Ugh, oh, not these two little biscuits again. <laughs> you might have more time than I thought, Cheeky. Come on, Chip. We've got work to do. Shh. Okay. Chapter one. Hey, Cheeky, can you help me train? I'm trying to finish my resolution, Toasty. But I need you to help me finish my resolution. Okay, 
Let's place anything that's old in the to-go pile on my bed. I can't be in here, Olippy. Your bed is, like, really making me want to take a nap. Well, don't fall asleep, because I need you to help me finish my resolution. We, we need your help! help! Keep up the pace, Toasty, and you'll be fit in no time. You get to read, Susie isn't near a bed, Toasty gets to work out, and my closet gets cleaned. Everybody wins. Did you hear that? It can only mean one thing. A fire! The clock! Oh, yeah. I mean, the clock. I guess I can always start my New Year's resolution tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, hi. What are you doing? Uh, what are we doing? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday coming up, so I'm shopping for a new purse. I think it came from this direction. Mm. Now my hand smells like cherry cupcakes. You know, a clock that size would be better suited in a central location. Would you like some help repositioning it? We're hiding it. <laughs> Oh, from who? My friends. I mean, a group of acquaintances. Acquaintances who couldn't even remember to get me a Christmas gift. You better not tell. Act natural. I won't. Because I'm going to give you the chance to make things right. Hey, you, Cupcake, you were guilty of, of, of something. Hey, stop accusing my friends of stealing. Your friends? Of course, Yolanda. Speaking of that, why aren't you wearing the bracelet we got you for Christmas? What do you mean? Lippy, did you put Yolanda's bracelet in her stocking? Uh, sorry, Toasty and I were still braiding it on Christmas morning. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas. We're gonna keep looking for our clock. Let me know if you see anything. Will do. <gasps> Morning, everyone. Ugh, what time is it? <sighs> 7.30. Wait a minute! Guys, it's back! What's it counting down to? It's too early for the next New Year's. I'm sorry your New Year's was ruined in the worst way. So instead, let's count down Jessie Cake's birthday. What a great oh, idea. Oh, so so awesome. This is such a lovely gesture. Oh, wait. There's another card inside. Every birthday party needs a cake and a Kate. Somebody wants you to have a special birthday. Any idea who it is? I have a few ideas. To pull off. And why is that now? Because there's a giant clock in the middle of Shopville counting down to her birthday. Plus, I'm kind of standing right 
here. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Jessie Cake. It's your birthday, so you needn't lift a finger. Party people, I hope you left room for dessert. My, my, who is this apple of my eye? Hey. Hey. Lil Blaze. Apple Blossom. You dance? I dance. Then why are we still standing here like a couple of mannequins? Girl, bring that beat back. Woo! Those moves are lit! Just like these candles. Yeah! Drop that core. Yeah. Get after it. Mmm. Ah. Uh, show me what you got. I don't have anything to show him. I, uh, I mean, I got pudding for y'all. So, uh, enjoy. Okay, gang, let's take a break and enjoy some pudding. 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 Pandas! What about a panda party? New bouquet. We've already done that one. You know what? Leave it to me and I'll surprise you. Surprise. Surprise! Flower delivery. Yes, over here. For Apple Blossom. For me? Yes, I'm from your secret admirer. I know. I'm just as excited as you are. So, just to clarify, I have no flowers. Uh, Sarah. Already on it. Yes, I'm waiting on a delivery of flowers for Rainbow Kate. What do you mean you ran out because of Valentine's Day? You won't be restocked for two months? Ah! Well, at least we have the venue sorted. Okay, so the venue has been double booked. I'm just gonna pop outside for a quick scream if anyone needs me. Ah! Maybe we should help her out with the venue and flowers. This is the best birthday I've ever had. You know, I wasn't going to reveal my identity, but this day is too romantic not to. We can have it in the park. There's plenty of flowers there, and it's super romantic. So Apple's secret admirer might reveal himself. Unless you want to tell us who he is. Nothing would make me happier, but I've been sworn to secrecy. It's the flower's oath. So, yeah, party in the park. Have the peanut brittle for dessert. Now, just be careful because it's quite hard. Oh no, are you okay? My tooth fell out. I think you're gonna need a crown. Come on, I'll take you to the dentist. Oh, uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm just hanging out. I broke my tooth. She what now? She broke her tooth. It was horrible. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat hard candy ever again. We better go. See ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hard candy is the worst. Good morning, little Blaze. Come on, Tiara. You know it's Lil. Does Tiara look like the type of shoppy that would say, Lil, it's so uncouth. Rainbow, you appear to be more frazzled than usual. Frazzled? I'm not frazzled, I'm fine! I was meant to sort out costume ideas three days ago, not to mention the birthday girl needs a new crown, but hey, I'm totes fine! <laughs> so good to see you, okay, thanks, bye! A princess should never celebrate a birthday without her crown. Fashion boutique! Oh, this is perfect! Your, Your hand, hand is 
so my crown. crown. Your, Your crown? crown? My, my crown. crown. Are you sure you're in the right section? Are you sure you're in the right shop? The more affordable outlets are in the next town over. <gasps> you have good taste. As do you. Tiara has impeccable taste. But this purchase is not for me. It's for Jessie Cake's birthday. Jessie Cake? Why didn't you say so? Do not fuss, my dears. There's plenty of sparkle to go around. You know, Rainbow hasn't picked a costume idea for the party yet. Maybe we could help her out. Share the sparkle, so to speak. Agreed. A little help never hurt anyone. <gasps> a little help? Who taught you how to speak? Little. I meant a little help. Shady, these shoes are stunning! I mean, look at me! Is that really me? It is reflection of you in mirror, but yes, it is you. Oh! Okay, I'll take them! Perfect! Now, where will you be wearing these wonderful shoes? I'll be walking down the aisle! Darling, I think we can do better than this Walmart. No, I mean, I'm getting married! Oh, congratulations, darling! It's going to be a perfect summer beach wedding! A beach wedding? But you cannot wear shoes to the beach! Oh, I never thought about that. How about a forest wedding? Snow wedding? You know what? I think I need more wedding info! Hey, guys! Let me guess. More wedding magazines, Bridie? Every issue you've got, Cheeky. Hey, guys! How's the tooth, Jessie Cake? Oh, it's all fixed now, Rainbow. That's great. Can you help us out with something party-related? Of course. Great! Can you show us where the music store is? I'm thinking about booking a live band for the party. Actually, it's way easier to control the volume on a sound system, you know? Sometimes it's really hard to hear yourself when there's loud music playing. So how are the party preparations going? It's going to be so much fun! We're having it in the park! The park? That's the perfect location! For, uh, for a birthday. Actually, on second thought, Cheeky, forget the magazines. I gotta go! Now I get to unpack all of these. How fun for me! Yo, Braddy, what's with all the white decorations? This party is starting to look like a wedding. Uh, Jessie Cake just really likes lace, I guess. Guess, apparently. Where is everybody? Oh, they are so uninvited! No, no, no! This is all wrong! This isn't what I wanted! No, but it's what I wanted. You haven't asked for my opinion once this entire time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I guess I just get a bit carried away sometimes. What is it that you wanted? This. Everybody contributing ideas for the party and doing what they love. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm getting married! Uh, to who? Oh. I knew I was missing something. Yep, groom. Or maybe Apple and her secret admirer can get married. What? <laughs> no, we can't. I mean, no, they can't. Whoever he is, <laughs> I don't know. Why are you all asking me? Nobody asked you. You just randomly blurted that out. Lil Blaze, you're my secret admirer? <sighs> yes, but I don't want to get married. 
I just wanted to know if you'd maybe be my date for the party. Of course! <laughs> Jesse Cake, I'm all ears. Anything you want, it's yours. Actually, there is one more thing I'd like you to do. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Greetings and welcome to Shopville! We're in the small mart and this, this is the Shopkins Leap Off! Ready? Ready. Cheeky chocolate is go. Beat that, sports fans! You wanna go next, Kooky? Uh-uh, no thanks. Then I guess it's me. Ooh. Oh, oh. Apple Blossom, the game is on! <sighs> Are you going to do it, Kooky? Don't forget to get a good run-up! It is cheese. Terrible. Again. Cheese monsters? This is bad. Again. Cheese makes me so scared. No, 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 no. Oh, I told you I can't act. <laughs> Much better. Wonderful. <laughs> um, I'm not sure she was acting. Strawberry kiss? Check you later! Shopkins, Shopkins! <laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked! Hey, Strawberry Kiss! Hi! she gone <laughs> check you later shopkins shopkins <laughs> not far to the top cheeky good it's a long way down. You guys can do it. Just don't do anything silly. What did Strawberry say? She said to do something silly. Okay. Hey Woo! Ah, woo! Woo! Yeah! What are you doing? I said don't be silly. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Uh, I can't go 
go on. We couldn't pass this anyway. We're stuck high up a mountain. So cold. So tired. I'm so tired I'm hearing things. No, I... I heard it too. What is it? In the sky, is that... kooky? Um, why are you crawling along the freezer? The three of us have been climbing a mountain! Three? Uh, where's Strawberry Kiss? Check you later! Shopkins, Shopkins! Okay, Spilt Milk! You've got to the end of the aisle to grab as much as you can! And go! Uh, cereal? Uh, hairspray? Um, tuna fish? Uh, toilet paper? What did you get? Um, nothing? I couldn't decide. Another turn? And go! Um, too squishy. Ew, too squashy. Ooh, too healthy. Mm, too donutty. You know you're meant to fill the basket, right? Uh, I know, I know. This time I will definitely choose lots of things. And go! Oh, what to grab? Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Hiya, 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 hiya! Hey, Cheeky! What are you doing with all these ice cream sticks? Are they for doing the limbo under? Nope, something even cooler. I'm gonna karate chop them. Okay, that is cooler. Wow! Better to start at one and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. Hi -ya! Uh, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. Hi -ya! That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. Hi -ya! Ow! All good. Hiya! Uh, ouchie. Hiya! Oh. And that one so had to hurt. Hiya! Ow, oh, ow, oh, ouchie! Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master! Hiya! Wow, she really did it! Wow! Hiya! 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 Ow! I am never doing that again. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! <laughs> we interrupt this Shopkins episode with a special report. Shopville is in chaos after a major traffic accident. We go to Cheeky Chocolate with more. Chaos indeed, Apple Blossom. Some presumed maniac spilt over a defenseless shopping basket. It is still unknown who or what caused this tragedy, but we'll be keeping our eyes open for this shop villain. And now, live from the freezer, it's Kooky Cookie with the weather. Cold. Thank you, Kooky, for that descriptive report. We now go live to Strawberry Kiss, who is about to report something amazing. What? Me? Um, amazing? Yep, but I didn't prepare anything. Our audience is waiting. <laughs> Amazing! Strawberry Kiss can cry strawberry jam tears. Who knew? And now a word from our sponsors. New Cheesy Cheese, now available in pink. Not actually available in pink. <laughs> 
Catch you later. Catch you later. Presented by our mystery guest. Let's meet the contestants. First up, Strawberry Kiss. This sweet treat Miss hails from the fruit aisle and is a favorite for this year's Miss Shopville. Up next is Kooky Cookie. This surprise entry takes the place of spilt milk after a tragic fruit picking accident. Let's wish her a speedy recovery. Now to our first event, the fashion show. Strawberry Kiss is looking fabulously fruity in her large Louis Descon hat. How will Kooky follow this up? What showmanship! This could win her big points. On to the question round. If you had one wish in the world, what would it be? I wish I could meet Katy Berry. She's amazing. Who wouldn't? Now, Kooky, what would you wish for? Peace. World peace. How selfless. And with that, I think we have our winner. The tiara will be presented by last year's Miss Shopville. Cupcake Queen. Congratulations, Kooky, on winning this year's pageant. Oh, peas. Thank you, Kooky. Here, you deserve this. Check you later. Shop hands, shop hands. <laughs> Coochie coo. Look, she smiled. So cute. It looks like we're running out of baby supplies. Toasty Pop, would you watch Dummy Me while we go get some more? Does toast burn? That means yes. Oh. Okay then, be good, Mimi. Who wants a poopsie change? What? <laughs> uh, oh no! You. The door isn't safe for babies. Ow! Oh no! How in all things toasty did she get up there? Here we go. All safe. You really shouldn't be. Oh no. <laughs> Burnt bagels and muffins! I insist you stop this nonsense! Oh, crumbs! I'm sorry, don't cry! You'll have to babysit more often. Um, she, uh... Was it something I said? Take you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Don't you just love today? It just fills your heart with love. Yup, nothing can ruin the mood I'm in. Lippy, what is oh that? Lippy, you're as beautiful as fresh toast, with lips as red as. Beetroots! <laughs> Will you be mine? Say you'll be mine! No way! Cookie or cookie? <sniffs> Sacre bleu! Could I be losing my charms? Oopsie! Ah! Bonjour, mon chéri! Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? I'm not hungry. But Beller, I can feel it in the air! All of the signs are pointing to you and I together. You feel it too, really? No, this needs to stop. I agree. He doesn't look like he'll give up anytime soon. Uh, what if we ask him out? What? No, she's right, and I've got just the plan. So, are you going to tell us this plan? Oh, right. Well, you go over this way and then we go around. Where are all of my beauties gone? My little toasty snookums. Won't you sing for me again? Why, well, hello there, my sweetie. I knew you could not resist these charms. No, me. Mwah, mwah, ah. mwah. Doughy bear. He's mine. He's mine. No, he's, no, mine. he's mine. He's mine. No, mine. Many, many he's mine. Down. Oh, no. I must flee before their love for moi destroys us all. Au revoir, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Shopkins, it is time 
for our annual chocolate hunt. Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car. Yay! If we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her. That car is as good as mine. Cheeky, to your mark. Ready? Go, shopkins! Cookie, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh. Okay. Well, good luck! With us working together, we should double the chance of winning! Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze! Yeah, mon chéri! I will not let you escape me! Nothing can distract my keen senses of... Sacre bleu! Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? <laughs> <laughs> I've so got this car! But just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot! That cheeky! Where could she be? Hmm. Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> Cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line. Cookie ball! <laughs> I was wrong. You win, Cookie! Pick your prize! Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Welcome, shoppers, to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanus Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! B -b burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced shoppist dummy me diaper wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate Shop young... Shop Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Shopkin, Shopkin. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? I'll get it! And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature. Wow! <laughs> Uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed! What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical! It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Phew! Oh. And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. <laughs> like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> Check you later. 